Hello and welcome to the episode 7 of R Programming for Biology, Medicine and Genetics, a basic course for those who are interested in bioinformatics, biostatistics and computational biology. It's Hamid Reza Hassani, PhD, Chief Data Scientist and Founder of DataBiox. Okay, let's go through the course. In the previous episode, uh, I have discussed how to mutate some new information and a column to the uh, to the data set. For example, uh, in the discuss data set all info, we have uh, added these columns based on uh, uh, based on some conditions that I discussed. Okay. In this episode, we want to continue some uh, data visualization with ggplot on this uh, new modified data set. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so what uh, we are going to do is to first of all find the genes of interest. Okay, here you can see filter for genes of interest. So, what are the genes of interest? Uh, so, we can uh, easily in this example. Uh, the genes with higher counts are more interested for us. For example, in uh, one uh, research, maybe the, uh, the genes with lower counts, but here the genes with higher count are interesting for us. So, and we will see that uh, these are uh, the genes. Okay, so how we can find how we can come to these genes among this uh, very big data set here all info you can see yeah how we can uh, filter okay i will show you the method so we want to find the genes with uh, with the highest count uh, some of the counts okay you can see uh, there are many genes here and this is a very big data set okay uh, so here let's start uh, we will use a new method names pipe you can see here these are pipe and very nice method uh, when we use pipe it means that very si very simple saying that uh, it will forward the output of this to the next uh, part okay for example here we are saying that here we want to find the genes of interest okay so let's uh, review this and then go to the practice we can see we'll uh, by this pipe methoding uh, pipeline method pipe, uh, we are forwarding this to group by we wanna group by gene symbol you are you remember that we had some gene symbol then again put the result when group by gene symbol to uh, summarize summarize we want to summarize this data set um, uh, to a new column total count equal to sum of the count you remember this is the count of genes okay so after that again we, plan, we forward the result to this arrange by descending because we want to arrange this output from max to mean okay so it's uh, uh, we are easily understand that we are uh, going uh, to a, to our desired result because we want to see and find the highest count highest gene count okay then head then uh, eight highest of this uh, data it will show to us by head and then please pull gene symbols then we just like to see the same gene symbol because we want to find out which genes are has uh, which genes has the highest sum of the count okay so let's see in the practice and check that can we come to this list or not as we can see these are also eight one two three four five six seven eight okay let's try first of all 
here we have my jeans then uh, we want to put the result to this uh, variable so we, we use this as I uh, introduced to you in many episodes before so here we will say all info yeah and this pipe is pipe uh, comment uh, or syntax i will just copy it because i wanna use it uh, many times later you, uh, you so okay here group by uh, gene symbol because we wanna uh, find the uh, genes of interest okay then uh, pass the result to another uh, part which is summarize summarize this data set by a new column total count uh, equal to sum count okay then again pipe and pass the result to forward the result to arrange because we want to see the highest count so we should arrange from uh, the max to mean so we will use descending okay descending total count yes then again pipe and forward the result to right now we want to see the eight highest one so we will see the uh, head and equal to eight then we want to see just the gene symbol okay so let's run it yeah it's uh, it seems that it's it works fine so let's see my genes yeah that's work fine that works fine yeah these are the genes of interest that is right here you can see these are right this is right okay uh yeah have TRF, VAF, uh, X1, and so on. Okay, so, uh, but these are, this is just the name of the genes. We want to have the counts of these genes. Okay, counts of these genes in the data set. So, we will use, uh, uh, we will create a new variable, uh, my genes count. Okay, and then I will use a new method names filter filter you will see that first of all as you can see in the description we will uh, use the name of the data set that is all info and then which filter we want to use we want to check which genes which genes uh, and which samples are in our genes of interest which are here which are these okay so we will use a condition here uh, gene where so this is tells us please filter the data in this data set all info which in this condition gene symbol again pipe but this type this time i n which means that these are included in my genes oh sorry i should uh, tell that uh, i think it's right okay let's try okay yeah let's see what are my genes count okay that's nice we can see that the highest count we can see the highest count uh, here okay so let's try let's try to uh, some visualization here okay so here uh, also we can check from this yeah this is right filter the data set gene symbol are in my genes okay so now we can have some data visualization on these counts and the genes of interest okay so again we will use ggplot 
so ggplot yeah the name of the data set all and this time my genes count my genes count yeah and mapping equal to a yes you remember the x b group and also the y as you remember like two because we want to decrease by an amount count plus one i had discussed it uh, uh, in uh, the previous episodes and here uh, by color uh, categorized by color uh, of group okay then uh, geom geometric box plot okay so let's see yeah we can see that uh, but when we wanna have it have the uh, better visualization and some more meaningful information we can use a new method names wrap facet okay i will show you how this work okay wrap uh sorry i think uh let's check yeah facet graph sorry facet graph okay then based on gene symbol okay yeah we can see based on the gene symbols we have different visualization these are the genes of interest and based on the group you have different visualization but you can see that box plot is not uh, a good method of visualization here you can see this is not giving us some meaningful information so we will use a scatter plot by point okay point let's see yeah it's better uh, but again it has uh, maybe some problems uh, one two three four five six you can see that there is all just six uh, point here uh, but we know that we have uh, in some parts maybe there are some uh, overlapping okay so it's better that we use uh, geom jitter jitter will add some uh, random values to the uh, some random uh, values to the uh, actual values to avoid uh, overlapping okay so you can see we had in some parts we have some overlapping okay so let's see mm -hmm. yeah that's better you can see there are some differences yeah mm -hmm. We can see there are some differences yeah remember the previous one let let me show you the previous one just point please keep in mind yeah and then change it to jitter to avoid to avoid overlapping and we can see the differences yeah the first one is clearly uh, is absolutely clear the con the difference between the previous one it adds some value some random value to show the to avoid overlapping we can see here okay and these are the this is, these are the groups and these are the counts okay uh, i think it's enough for this session i hope that it will be useful and informative for you but don't forget that practice make perfect don't forget to practice practice many times as as much as possible okay and i will also share the 
uh, codes and also references for you but don't forget first of all please try by yourself and check that you wanna repeat this by yourself or not and then you can check the uh, comment uh, codes uh, from the description okay uh, hope see you in the next videos and bye